and greetings to all on behalf of the Global Humanity for Peace Institute at the University of Wales, Trinity and St. David. I welcome you to this international webinar or we call it symposium. Um, in fact, our collaboration with Ali started when he was UNESCO Chief of History, History and Dialogue section. Yeah, with Ali, we co-created what we call a collective healing initiative, which is a part of the UNESCO slave root project and now called the Roots of the Enslaved Peoples. So collective healing for us is now an important aspect of the Institute's research and programs because it contributes directly to a culture of peace. Now, speaking of, of peace and as a peace institute, we see peace as an ethically attuned, positive and holistic notion. And we understand peace as involving multiple dimensions from the inner spiritual to the social relational, to the political economic, and now to the ecological. To nurture positive peace, we believe that it requires reconceptualizing governance. Hence, we decided, Ali said, to co-host a series of symposia on the topic with a view to appreciate the rich beauties in the traditional governance practices around the globe. Last May, we collaborated with Taos Institute to co-host an international symposium on models and practices of direct, directed democracy and a relational approach to governance. This had led to a special issue on the journals of the dialogue studies on the sensuality of dialogue in governance for human futures. Now, this much anticipated event focusing on traditional African systems of governance. We look forward to learning more about the philosophical, ethical, and um, spiritual foundations underlying these systems, with a special focus, as Ali already mentioned, on consensual, consensual decision making models. This will no doubt help, we believe, scholars or researchers to advance a conceptual framework for these traditional practices to be more present in modern governance systems and for practitioners, policymakers to explore ways to integrate and um, to advocate the, their, the, the implementations of these practices in global governance. So we feel extremely honored for having this opportunity to listen to the voices of our panelists, as you, you can see, from global Africa. I thank you all for joining us today uh, and tomorrow. And um, to start the program, let's welcome today's moderator, Dr. Michelle Wangola, who is an oraturist, a performance scholar, and who uses the lens of culture in her work as an artist, an academic, and an activist. Michelle, I turn the program over to you.